Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Yeah, right here. Deuteronomy 4 and 27. Deuteronomy 28, 64 through 68. Mm -hmm. These prophecies were largely fulfilled in the two captivities by Assyria and Babylonia. Because what? The Assyrians That's took out I mean. the northern kingdom first. And then the Babylonians um, took on um, our people, the house of Judah, man. But there were other captivities which helped scatter the Israelites. Mm -hmm. I'll read them verbatim. By the time of Christ, the diaspora must have been several times the population of Palestine. Mm -hmm. Paul invariably contacted the people in every city he visited. Who were those people? Those people were actually Israelites. They did not know they were Israelites. Not no fucking Edomites. Not no Japanese, not no Chinese, not no um, uh, Ishmael, man. Yeah, so when you see the book of Corinthians, that was Israelites calling themselves Corinth, uh, Corinthians, it's living in Corinth. Corinth, Greece. Yeah, when you see the book of Galatians, that's Israelites that were living in Galatia. Mm -hmm. When you see the book of Philippians, that's Israelites that were living in Philippi. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's really simple, it's man. It's simple, man. The book of Romans, that was Israelites living in Rome. Rome. Come, come. come. Hey, well, before you get to precept, hey, bring that, finish that last scripture up. Deuteronomy 28 and um, 64. From one end of the earth even unto the other. Mm -hmm. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy father have known, mm -hmm. even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Now bring out 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. This is 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Not concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. I hold on, hold on. We re read that again. Corinthians 1 12 and 1. 1 uh -huh. Corinthians 12 and 1. Uh -huh. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. Now, brother, okay, now he now this is what Paul said. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. All right, I'll read it since I'm there. Who who were Paul's uh brethren? Let's go to Romans 9 and 3. For I Okay, Romans 9 and 3. Right, Romans verse 9. Uh, Romans 9 and 3. This is about this is who is defined as Paul's brother. For I could wish that myself was a curse from Yahweh Shai for my brethren. Hold on, now read that again. Now concerning their spiritual gifts, brethren. Now read that again. Finish it up. For I could wish that myself was a curse from Yahweh Shai. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh. In order to be his brethren, you have to be according to the flesh, meaning the tribes from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right, bring it out. I would not have you ignorant. You, you know that you were Gentile, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. And that's the wood and stone that was spoken of in Deuteronomy 28 in the 64 chapter. And somebody, hey, bring out 1st Maccabees, man. Hey, 1st Maccabees. All right, you have a piece of it. You got a piece of it. Hey, this is James 1 and the 1. Mm -hmm. James, a servant of the Most High. James, a servant of the Most High. In, in order to be a servant, you have to be a, a man of the Lord, man. Continue. And the, and the Lord, Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. to the 12, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad to greedy. To the 12 tribes that were scattered. Going back to Deuteronomy 28 and 64. All right, go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah 11 and 10. Right. And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse. A which root of Jesse. A root of Jesse. And hey, that means that Yahweh Shai had to have a physical father, man. But you know what was so crazy? Hey, when Yahweh Shai had walked the earth, Y'all was basically saying, hey, his physical father was Joseph, so how can Yahweh be his father? Now, we in the latter times, basically, okay, he came from the Most High, but he didn't have no physical father. You see what I'm saying? Continue. We shall stand for an ensign of the people to which shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glory. And that's those Gentiles that rest going to be glory. Those are Israelite foreigners who were scattered. Go ahead. All right. This is uh, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day mm -hmm. that the Most High shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remain of his people. So what he started doing, he, he sent um, the, the, the apostles out there, man, the disciples. And now he's doing it again. Continue. We shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt. Israelites in Assyria. Israelites in Egypt. And from 
And from Pathros. And Israelites and Pathros. We're going to beat it in your fucking head, man. And from Cush. And from Cush, Cushites. And from Elam. And from Elam, East Indians. And from Shinar. And from Shinar. And from Hamah. Hamah. And from the islands of the sea. Uh, islands of the sea. That, don't that sound like they've been scattered? Everywhere. Everywhere. And he shall set up an ensign for the nation. Mm -hmm. And he shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. Oh, man. Go to um, Ephesians. Some hey. Go to Ephesians um, um, 2 and 15, 2 and 16. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, But he answered and said, I am not sent. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep. Unto the lost sheep. And why was they lost? Be meaning they became uh, in that Gentile mindset. They didn't know who they were. Continue. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Point blank. Continue. I got two of them right there. Go ahead. Uh, Tobit 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. He scattered us among them. He scattered who? He scattered us among the Gentiles, the natural Gentiles. So if I can say this, so that's what the Great Commission was all about, that you churches like to talk about, man. In the, in the last chapter of the Matthew, when it said, go and preach and teach in my name amongst all the nations, that's what that's talking about, Tobit 3 and 13, man, where it say he, he have scattered us among them, so go and preach in his name among them, man, mm -hmm. to bring the elect out of them, man. Yeah. All right, bring it out, bring it out. Second Maccabees 1, don't start at verse 24. And the prayer was after this matter, O Lord, O Lord power, creator of all things, who are fearful and strong and righteous and merciful and the only and gracious king, the only giver of all things, the only just, almighty and everlasting, that thou deliverest Israel from all trouble and didst choose the fathers and sanctify them. Receive the sacrifice for thy whole people Israel and preserve thy own portion and sanctify it. Mm -hmm. Here's the point. Mm -hmm. Verse 27. And you're sanctified through the truth, man. That goes back into John 17 and 17, how the truth sanctifies you. And how the elect men are uh, sanctified right now because they have the truth. Continue. Gather those together that are scattered from us. Yeah, and that goes back to what the brother was saying from James 1 and 1. Gather those together that were scattered. Deliver them that serve among the heathen. Mm -hmm. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred, and let the heathen know that they are our power. You cannot get around these scriptures, man. Hey, you know, hey, that's why, man. Hey, this is a it's a spiritual fight, man. Because, hey, hey, it does that those words cut you up worse, man. You know, and like what Park say feels like a. Shot. To, the body, to, the <laughs> to the body, man, those words, man. Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, when you break it down, what it is, it's like, you know, uh, how they show somebody trying to, like, the club be jumping, you know, you see the women going in, you see brothers going in, they in their party drinking champagne, and you trying to get in, the club, won't, the bouncer won't let you in. Mm -hmm. That's how this, that's how this salvation is. All the other nations, they trying to get in the front door, they couldn't come in, and now they trying to get through the window, go yeah. underground, yeah. go through the back the door. The back door. Can't get in this club, it's yeah. only for the Israelites, man. Yeah, and you can't call an Israelite to basically bring you over, man. Yeah. You know what, we may as well get the parable of Ezra's, I mean Lazarus. Because it tells you how it's going to be a gap between uh, Israel and the, um, the elite. All right, what you got, Al? Now, them chairs, like the, the, hey, them chairs they, they like the personal VIP, man. They like the spiritual VIP. So all the other nations see what we have coming to us. They want to you know, grab hold to it. 11, 2011. All right, what, what were you holding, though? Uh, I was holding uh, Deuteronomy. Oh, you had that scatter. Didn't you have that? Scatter. Yeah, you, Isaiah? Yeah, Isaiah, I had finished. Okay, but hey, bring bring that last scripture out. It was a point I want to get. Okay. And then bring out your precept out there. Yeah, cause you know, cause they live good over on this side. Getting really every damn thing they want. Exactly. They ain't oh. got to worry about worry about working. Okay. They can go to take yeah. trip any time want to now. Like yeah. And they and now they want they want the kingdom too. You right. Yeah, damn, right. greedy bastards. Yeah. Hey, hey, bring this out, dog. Huh? It's Isaiah 11 and 12, and he shall set up an ensign for the nation. And shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. Now bring bring what you got out, huh? Bring out what you got, bro. Uh, Call it out and bring it up. It's Ephesians. It is. Ephesians 2? Yeah, 11? 2, 2 and 11. Yeah. Wherefore remember 
that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. Gentiles in the flesh. Continue because why? You were serving other gods and stuff. Continue. Who, who are who are called uncircumcised mm -hmm. by that which is called the circumcision. And the circumcision kept the law. Continue. In the flesh made by hand. In the flesh made by hand, meaning basically they circumcised their sons on the eighth day. So on and so forth. Not eating pork, you know, um, keeping the dietary laws. Continue. Then it that time ye were without your house, mm -hmm. being aliens, aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Now read what you had again, bro. And he, and he shall set up an Israel for the nation, and shall and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Hey, with the spirit of Hashem al man, the precepts fits together like a puzzle, man. You cannot get around there, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem al we are brought our countless precepts upon precepts upon precepts to let you know that through the edification process that those Israelite um, foreigners were actually also classified as Gentiles. Those are the only ones that can be saved. Uh, you had a precept, bro? Yeah, I had two I precepts. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I had got two precepts I wanted to link up to let you know who he talking about. The people try to say that's the Old Testament, you know, but the Old Testament and New Testament link up because we've been going into both. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 76. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy, thy power, and the Lord have and the Lord have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. So when you, when Yahweh Shah went on that cross, and basically when that um, um that veil had split in two, then basically he made the entire nation on um, a priesthood, man. Uh, Go ahead. Excellent. This is Exodus 19 and 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. A strange, uh, because Jake is strange, man. That's what peculiar is going into. That's why you see Jake with their hats turned to the side and to the back and all that other type of shit, man. Hairstyles, because they're strange people, man. We're strange people. Continue. Unto me above all people, mm -hmm. for all the earth is mine. Mm -hmm. right. And then you go into Titus. This is uh, Titus 2 and 13. And it said, Looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great power and our Savior, Yahweh Shah Messiah, mm -hmm. who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Now, in the Old Testament, they was labeled as what? Peculiar treasure. Peculiar treasure. And it's the same thing right here. That's a straight cut. Wow. All right. Hey, bring out. Um, you got something, bro? I show? Go ahead. Go ahead. Anybody got a priest up? Yeah, I guess so. Go ahead. Um, first, Maccabees 12 and 19. And this is the copy of the letters which Ananaris sent Arius, king of the Lacedemonians, to Onias, the high priest. Greeting. It is found in writing that the Lacedaemonians and Jews are brethren and that they are the stock of Abraham. Lacedaemonians, those will be equivalent to um, the 300, the Spartans. Those are uh, who, those are, uh, that's their biblical name, the Lacedaemonians. Continue. And it says, so it's found written that the Lacedaemonians and Jews are brethren and that they are the stock of Abraham. But one of the Spartans classified as Greeks? It's no, it's no difference in today. We're being called Americans, man. But our lineage goes back to um, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And how do I know? Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem al the spirit bear a witness, man. All right? What you got? You got something? Hey, Maccabees, give me a... Um, hey, one and 41. Mm-hmm. I got you. I got you, Josh. I just heard... Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the book, uh, the book of Maccabees, verse one, verse forty-one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote, Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all people should be one. 
-hmm. And every once. Dude, don't that sound like a new world order? And where did he get that shit from? Back up um, when Nimrod days, man. Yeah. Tower of Babel. What? Continue. And everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. So if everyone which are Israelites are leaving their laws, what does that mean? They're becoming Gentiles. But over a process of time, eventually that entire tradition was eradicated. That's going to that curse that's located in Jeremiah the 17th chapter. Somebody get that too. Go ahead. Yeah, many also of the Israelites Consented to his religion. Sell our niggas. Niggas like Nate, Johanna, so on and so forth. Any two third that basically wanted um, wanted a, a, a better life without going through anything, man. They couldn't take the hardships and the persecution. They, they stopped believing in Yahweh by Shema Shah, so they sold the fuck out. And, and that goes into the modern day Roman Catholic, this, this modern day Christianity, that's considering sitting into the white man religion, man, which Antiochus is known as an Edomite. He was a so-called white man back then. Then he he come on when he wanted the generals of Alexander the Greek. Everybody know Alexander the Greek was a white man, man. So y'all can't escape y'all history. Y'all can't escape y'all identity, man. You know, if we got it all in the scriptures, man. We got the real history right here, man. That's why they took the apocrypha out of the Bible, man. Yeah, that's what Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. They profaned the Sabbath, man. That's the process of losing your religion, man. You stop doing that, you know what I'm saying, you stop basically um, worshiping Yahweh Hashem al following his laws, and, and, and as a result of that, what happened, man? We, we, um, we were not his people anymore, man. That's, that's going into a uh, Hosea, the, the first chapter, man. Just like our people today and all these Greek sororities, man. That's the same thing, man. You know, they into the same thing today, man. With your Deltas, your AKAs, all that shit, man. That, that's, 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 hey, that's the same thing, man. Then they have to make, they, hey, they be sacrificed <laughs> to idols, man. We, what, what they, they had to do certain things to get into them groups, man. You, you just can't become an AK, right, like the brother said, Masons. You know, all them Greek um, fraternities, man. You know, yeah, you, you gotta have brothers who, 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 you know, it ain't that many brothers. You probably had brothers who gathered that shit before they knew the truth, man. But when they found out the truth, because all of us were caught up in something, man. But that's what we out here to do, man. Expose the lie and bring the true knowledge of salvation back to our people, man. Starting with the elect, man. Uh -huh. You know? Mm -hmm. hey, ho hey, bro. Hey, just to prove that point, hey, this is, um, Hey, Hosea 1 and 9, then said the Most High, call his name Loami, Lo, Lo for ye are not my people, and I will not be your power. And if you look that up in the Hebrew, it's pronounced as um, La Aimaya, which means not my people, man. Okay? So over the process of time, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's the reason why Yahweh Shah had to be sent back to redeem us back, man. Because Yahweh had given us away, man. Uh, Isaiah 63 and 7. Yeah, finish, let me finish it. Verse 4 and 4. For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Mm -hmm. and, they, and don't they operate like that today, today yep. when they pass their legislation, man, through all the 50 states and then across the fucking world, man, you know, but to starting in America, man, you know, because everybody basically following after America, man. They the number one economy in the world, man. Let me just bring out something to back you up. Hey, Jeremiah 17, 17 and 4, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. He said he will cause us to serve our enemies, man, not our brethren, man. He, he should cause us to serve our enemies in the land, man, which we know not, man, you know. And who's the so-called white man serving? Come. So how can you, you know, he, he, he wants himself to fit, to, to fit the blessing, man. He wants a, a, a front row seat into the kingdom of heaven. But you got, but you're not being oppressed, man. You 
gonna have that front row seat. You gonna be the first slave, man. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that's gonna be your front row. Seat. You gonna have the front row seat, man. Yeah. While you watch the show, man. Yeah. We gonna be the directors, just having your ass right. doing whatever, man. See, so I always wanna be in the front, right. right? In the back of the bus, yeah. Yeah. Right. right? Yeah. yeah. I, don't get, I don't get right in the front. Watch this shit. Man, you gonna be in yeah. the front of uh, all the other nations. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna be in the front of them, I, man. I always wanna go first and shit. Okay. Uh, verse 45. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and they should profane the Sabbath and the festival days. So when, you, when we stop, you know what I'm saying, basically following the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, what happened? We started uh, following the, um, the laws and the statutes of the Hebrew. Christmas. Uh, yeah, Christmas. And Fourth what did that July. do? Fourth of July. You got Jake fucking. Oh, uh, barbecuing and shit and fucking popping up uh, fireworks, you know. And you was in fucking slavery yeah, around this. Yeah, you was a, you was in slave, man. That's why you gotta die, man. Y'all gotta die, man. Now you're good, you know. Go ahead. Verse forty-six, and pollute the sanctuary of the holy people. Mm -hmm. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine flesh and unclean beasts, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and pro prof profanation. Mm -hmm. To end, to the end they might forget the law. To the end that they might forget the law. That's how we got discontinued from our heritage. It says uh, profanation, and that, the word profane goes back to outside the temple. Yeah, pro pro profane? profane. Yeah, yeah. And change all the ordinances. Yeah. We're talking about offering that swine. Yeah, that's it. Most yeah. brothers gonna be barbecuing Real. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the main thing, bro. It's gonna be barbecuing real, man. Celebrating the holiday when you still getting your ass beat to sleep, man. How the hell y'all gonna celebrate, pop some firecrackers? You know, my wife, well, I was sitting on the couch last night, and uh, you know, little Edomites outside popping firecrackers, and uh, she was like, we should go out there and watch it. I'm like, hell no. Why the hell I'm gonna go watch them? Little Edomites pop some firecrackers, and our people still getting their ass beat to sleep. I don't want to participate in nothing that Esau got going on with these pagan ass holidays, man. Come. That's why I go back read that point about the festivities. That's what it's going into. It say, uh, uh, set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine flesh and unclean beasts, that they should also lead their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. Mm -hmm. they're 45, okay, they're 45, they're talking about the feast. And forbid and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple that they should profane the Sabbath and the festival days. And that's why in 1 Corinthians 12 and 2, ye know that you were Gentiles carried away until these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Who led you? This is a prime example, beginning with Antiochus, man. Richard Merrick.